Sorry, the flight was delayed. How long have you been waiting? I just got here. My car broke out on the belt plug. Oh, I can't believe. Why don't you get rid of that piece of junk? One mile from the exit, it starts shaking, really violently shaking, <laughs> like it's having a nervous breakdown. Then it completely stopped there. So you have no car? No. So what good are you? Delay for something to happen at a later time than expected or intended. For example, the wedding was delayed for financial reasons. How long have you been waiting? How long you been waiting? How long you been waiting? How long you been waiting? I just got here, which means I arrived only a few minutes ago. An example: We have to go. Todd's wife just got here. Breakdown for a car or vehicle to stop working because of engine problems. Example: My car broke down on my way to work. To get rid of something is to dispose of something or throw it in the trash or discard something. Uh, the example is, I'm trying to get rid of my old sofa. Do you want it? Jerry says George's car is a piece of junk. This is an expression referring to his car being rubbish, it's trash. Uh, it doesn't work very well, it's a piece of junk. The exit, it's the, the exit from the highway or the motorway, that road, the road taken to leave. Shaking is to be moving and vibrating very quickly. The example is, I was so scared my hand was shaking. Violently shaking, in this case is an adverb, so we're using violently to explain the action of shaking. So, in this case, it's perform the action in a violent way. A nervous breakdown, so this is not the same as George's car breaking down. So nervous breakdown, a very stressful situation when a person temporarily can't function properly. It's an emotional thing. So he had a nervous breakdown after losing his job. Stopped dead. Expression used to say that something stopped very suddenly. You have no car, so it's an informal but still correct way to question somebody. It's strange because the normal, uh, the normal ways we would construct a phrase like this for a question would be, "Don't you have a car?" or "Haven't you got a car?" But you're gonna people, you're gonna hear people say, you ha "So you have no car? So you have no time?" And what good are you? What good are you? Is how Jerry pronounces it. What good are you? It's a rhetorical question, suggesting that George is just wasting Jerry's time. He has no purpose. He has no reason. An example is, what good is that guy if he can't even boil an egg? So if he can't boil an egg, it means he can't really cook anything. He's no good. Back to the scene. I'll tell you one thing, this chauffeur's going to be waiting a while. O'Brien's not showing up. How do you know? He was in Chicago. The flight was overbooked. They wouldn't let him on the plane. He kept screaming how he had to get to Madison Square Garden. Should take his limo. Yeah, right. Wait a second. Think about it. He's not showing up. Where do you see the life of kids? It's like 45 minutes long. You said he's in Chicago. He's definitely in Chicago. Well, the guy's just standing there. <laughs> how would we do it? We just go up to him and we say, we're O'Brien. <laughs> Maybe he knows O'Brien. No, he doesn't know O'Brien. If he knew O'Brien, he wouldn't have a sign. <laughs> Let's just do it. Well, what if we get caught? What's going to happen? They can't kill us. A chauffeur. A chauffeur is a personal driver, generally of an expensive, fancy car, like a limousine. This is a word derived from French. To show up is a phrasal verb, means to appear, arrive at a destination or event. The example, he said he would come, but he never showed up. He never came, he never arrived, he didn't appear. To overbook is when a restaurant or plane has accepted more people than it can hold. The restaurant is overbooked, so we can't get a table. Wouldn't let him, pronunciation, wouldn't let him on. 
wouldn't let him on. Wouldn't let him on. They wouldn't let him on the plane. Screaming is to speak very loudly, to show that you're angry, or to show that you're really scared. It can be used in both situations. He's always screaming at his kids. So possibly a dad who is quite an angry dad and is speaking really loudly to yell, to scream. Madison Square Garden is a famous entertainment center in New York. They generally have basketball games or big shows and concerts there. Limo is the abbreviation for a limousine, which is the long, expensive car used by rich people and celebrities. And to go up to him, to go up to someone, is to approach someone. She went up to the shop assistant to complain. So now let's watch the last part of the scene. Who's going to be your Brian? I'll be your Brian. <laughs> Who am I? You, you, you. Just me? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you don't want to be you? Well, if you're going to be your Brian, why can't I be somebody? <laughs> Like who? Dylan Murphy. <laughs> okay. What? Now you want to be Dylan Murphy? Well, I like Dylan. You could be Colin. Colin O'Brien. I'm Dylan Murphy. I'm Colin O'Brien. Mm -hmm. Are we really doing this? Come on. Uh, hey, do you have the time? Clock over there. <laughs> O'Brien? Yes, sir. <laughs> Sorry, we're uh, we're late. Here, let me take that for you. Oh, thank you. Uh, I'll get the car and I'll bring it around front. Thank you very much. <laughs> Dylan? Come. <clears throat> Who's going to be? Who's going to be? Who's going to be O'Brien? Who's going to be O'Brien? Just me. Just me. As you see, we don't, we don't pronounce the T at the end of just. It doesn't have that plosion. Just me. Not just me. Just me? Just me? You don't want to be you? 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 Let me take that for you. Let me take that for you. Let me take that for you. Here, let me take that for you. Oh. All right, so now that you know all of those little pieces of vocabulary and pronunciation, let's watch the scene one more time, and you guys are going to be seriously surprised about how much more you understand and enjoy that scene. George! Jerry. Jerry. Sorry, the flight was delayed. How long have you been waiting? I just got here. My car broke down on the belt plug. Oh, I can't believe Why don't you get rid of that piece of junk? One mile from the exit, it starts shaking, really violently shaking. Like it's having a nervous breakdown. Then it completely stopped there. So you have no car? No. So what good are you? I'll tell you one thing, this chauffeur's gonna be waiting a while. O'Brien's not showing up. How do you know? He was in Chicago. The flight was overbooked. They wouldn't let him on the plane. He kept screaming how he had to get to Madison Square Garden. You should take his limo. Yeah, right. Wait a second. Think about it. He's not showing up. Where do you see the life of kids? It's like 45 minutes long. Y you said he's in Chicago. He's definitely in Chicago. Well, the guy's just standing there. <laughs> How would we do it? We just go up to him. We say, we're O'Brien. Maybe he knows O'Brien. No, he doesn't know O'Brien. If he knew O'Brien, he wouldn't have a sign. <laughs> Let's just do it. Well, what if we get caught? What's gonna happen? They can't kill us. <laughs> Who's gonna be O'Brien? I'll be O'Brien. <laughs> Who am I? You, you, you. Just me? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you don't want to be you? Well, if you're gonna be O'Brien, why can't I be somebody? <laughs> like who? Dylan Murphy. <laughs> okay. What, now you want to be Dylan Murphy? Well, I like Dylan. You could be Colin. Colin O'Brien. I'm Dylan Murphy. I'm Colin O'Brien. Mm -hmm. Are we really doing this? Come on. Uh, hey, do you have the time? Clock over there. <laughs> O'Brien? Yes, sir. <laughs> Sorry, we're, uh, we're late. Here, let me take that for you. Oh, thank you. Uh, I'll get the car and I'll bring it around front. Thank you very much. <laughs> Dylan? Colin. <Go. clears throat> 